Never argue with stupid people because they will drag you down to their level and then beat you with experience. So, today is going to be a vlog about this. Um, but mostly in the aspect of this is why I don't share exactly my nutrition with you guys. You guys know because I've kind of stated it very vaguely that I do macros, but I will never show you my percentages or my numbers. And this is because people cannot accept something that they've been taught to not accept. <laughs> um, and mostly carbs. Carbs seem to be like the enemy to so many people. It's ridiculous. And I wanted to talk about this because I've had a client um, post her progress photos, her great progress photos, let me add, and people were curious, what are you doing? What are you doing? Who's training you? Um, and she told them what she was doing and that she was doing macros, and they're like, well, please share your macros with us. And so she did. It doesn't stick there, Mommy. Sorry. Sorry. So she shared their ma her macros with them, which I usually don't like clients doing that, but because of this reason. Um, and they see it and they tell her, no, no, you, you should be eating less. One told her she should be eating 1,500 calories. She's overweight, okay? When you're very overweight, um, you need to eat more food. And people don't realize this. They sit around thinking that bigger people should stop eating, when in reality, they burn more calories because they're heavier, which requires them to eat more. Usually in the 2000s, sometimes higher, depending on how much you weigh. So 1500 would do what to her? Make her store fat. That is probably the worst <laughs> advice she got. Um, but everyone told her, bring down your carbs. Now, why are you advising somebody who within four weeks has amazing Two progress? Two weeks she had great progress too, but now she's on four weeks. She has amazing progress. She's so lean. In fact, well, no, for her privacy, I guess I won't show the photo, right? Yeah. I mean, but you guys don't know who she is. But uh, just for her privacy, I won't show the photo. But she's getting amazing progress. Every week she's excited, but she came to me concerned. Why are, this person told me to eat more. This person told me to eat less. They both told me to lower my carbs. I'm confused, you know, it's kind of making me anxious. What should I do? follow what I'm telling you to do, you know? I train so many trainers, and a lot of them who thank me for taking their body to the next level, for thanking me for getting their body set, because they couldn't do it on their own. And a lot of these trainers are charging more than me. So, I mean, I'm never gonna call them out. That's, you know, privacy. Um, I need to, you know, whoever I work with, they're a client no matter what. You've trained doctors. Too. I've trained doctors as well, doctors who, went with that idea that carbs were bad until I changed their mind and they realized, oh my god, carbs make me awesome. <laughs> um, and there was a doctor who recently told one of my clients that she was eating too many carbs. She was eating maybe like 210 carbs. Like, that's nothing. To me, that's nothing. I would be like angry probably by that um, if I had to eat that. They told him, because she went to the doctor to say she didn't have energy. The doctor told her, it's because you're eating a lot of carbs. Really? Carbs are an energy source. The only thing carbs will do for you is give you energy. When you consume more carbs, you are a monster in the gym. Let me tell you, when I was bulking and eating 400 grams of carbs, I looked like I was on steroids. But I wasn't. But I was lifting almost 300 pound squats. Every weight, I was the, every machine that I was using I had reached the max on the machines, every single machine, except for the Smith machine, because that's like, you can keep adding on, but the ones with the plates, I demolished those machines when I was bulking. Why? Because of the extra food and the extra carbs. Yes, baby. So, for a doctor to tell her you're losing energy because she spiked your carbs, she must not know what she's doing. Her problem was that she wasn't reaching her. Yep. The problem was she wasn't reaching her macros. She wasn't eating her carbs because she was under this idea that I gave her too many carbs. She couldn't accept it because of other trainers who teach you low carb, low carb, low carb, low carb. So she refused to follow the plan and that's why she didn't get progress. Is it possible for you to buy my plan and not get progress? Yes. It's as simple as not following the plan. All I ask from you is trust me and follow the plan. Eat what you gotta eat and you'll get progress. There is another client also who told me, um, 
I think we need to change my plan. I'm not seeing progress. So I tell her, hey, okay, why don't you send me screenshots from five days of you tracking your macros? Let me see what's going on there. She sends them to me. One day she reached her calories. One day. The rest of the day she underate. One day she severely overate. Um, it's like working out one day out of the week and wanting progress, you know? Like, she wanted me to change her nutrition. How do I change somebody's nutrition who's eating 1,000 calories, then 1,500 calories, then 1,900 calories, then jumps it up to 2,300 calories? But she's not following your nutrition. Well, what do I do? Like, you're not following the plan, but you want me to change the plan. Well... When you start my plan, number one thing I always tell you, nutrition is key. I give you a week to two weeks free just to work on nutrition. Your plan does not start till you get your nutrition down. Uh, and this is because nutrition matters the most. So when you're telling me my plan is not working and then I ask you for your nutrition and then you're not reaching your numbers, it's like, well, you're not following my plan. So that's why you're not getting progress. It's really that simple. It's black and white, my plan. You either don't get progress because you're not following something or you get progress because you're following everything and you know it, it's not always intentional i have another client who spot on her nutrition but she missed a small detail she missed the formula for the workouts so she was she got progress but it was slower progress she missed the formula i told her just yesterday she went back and reread the email that talked about the formula and watched the video and was like i missed it i don't know how i missed it but i missed it so now she's going to be doing the formula. So there are mistakes you can make and that's what prevents you from seeing progress. However, my plan is pretty simple. Eat a balanced diet. You can't beat a balanced diet. If you're severely eating something or severely under eating something, you know there's a problem. If you're eating 200 grams of protein or more as a woman, you're crazy. Why are you doing that? That's insanity. You shouldn't be doing that. If you're eating 50 grams of carbs, that is severely too low. So you see, when you take dramatic measures and you severely eliminate something or severely consume something, it becomes dangerous no matter how healthy it is. Even healthy fats, if you overeat healthy fats, it can become dangerous. Eat too much sugar, it's bad. Eat too little sugar for some people, it's bad. So. That's why a balance, you can never beat that. A balance is so important. Eating an appropriate amount of calories is so important for your body to function properly. I don't know how many times I gotta preach this, but I will continue to preach it till I'm old and wrinkly and the world understands that there are so many fitness myths, so many. Another one being that you need to eat six, seven, eight meals in a day, constantly eat all day or else your metabolism gets uh, destroyed or weakened. This is crazy talk. People who are constantly eating, their body constantly requires them to be digesting. So all day long, you are digesting food, which means you're wasting pure energy, good energy that you could be using on other things. Um, also, insulin levels, constantly up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You don't just give them a break, like stop eating for a couple hours, give them a break. You need to do that. It's a myth now about these small meals. So this whole eating a million times a day thing, that's a myth now. I, if you look at my diet, how many meals do I eat? One huge meal, and then maybe another one that's pretty small. Uh, that's how I eat. Is that bad? No. Someone said, well, you're gonna hurt your metabolism. That is very, okay, so if I'm eating 3,000 calories, but I'm choosing to allow my body rest time from food, it means that my metabolism is being destroyed even though I'm eating 3,000 calories? That's just craziness. The most important thing is calories consumed at the end of the day. However, you do not need to cook five, six times a day because that is just, when do you have time to do anything else? That is exactly what, when fitness is overtaking your life, is when you're sitting and making six meals of tiny portions of chicken because you can't eat too much protein in one sitting and a tiny bit of rice, a spoonful of rice, like, that's crazy. And even if you want to justify it by, well, I meal prep so I don't have to cook that many times, it, it you don't have to do it. It's unnecessary. Uh, if you want to do it, fine. You want to eat low carbs, fine. Keep it to yourself. Do the world a favor and keep it to yourself because that's not the way it needs to be done. I didn't mean to really talk about my plan in this. Um, it was more because it's easy to, you, to use my clients as examples. I've just been seeing a lot of BS online, on social media. Um, and this is something I wanted to talk about because if sitting and arguing with one person who's telling my client not to be eating carbs is like a waste of my time. Plus, uh, 
as I just read the quote now, I just forgot it, but what is the quote, babe? Something about arguing with stupid people makes you stupid? Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> That's my way of translating it. Um, and I thought it was really important to share this because people overcomplicate things and they don't need to be overcomplicated. And this is why I always say nutrition when I post. I never give numbers. I never give my numbers, my exact numbers. And this is because a lot of people cannot accept the truth and a lot of people cannot accept if they saw my macros they would not accept it they'd be like no no those macros are for people not getting progress and the fact that i have progress and that i am as fit as i am and eating the way that i'm eating people will not like it they'll get mad i'll have to argue with the whole world and then i'd be the idiot for arguing with the whole world that's why i kind of keep it to myself that's why I urge my clients to keep it to themselves because then they have people who try to tell them they're doing it wrong even though they're getting progress, which is craziness. And then there are people who say that they don't like counting macros, they hate it, do, a, do they have to do that uh, to see progress? Well, or, and tracking, they just don't want to track. Well, you can't really eat intuitively. As you guys have seen, there are many days where I don't want to eat anymore and had I been eating intuitively, I would have stopped eating, which meant I wasn't eating towards my goals, right? Um, and I even see this for fat loss. Girls that are on fat loss that have no appetite. Girls that are bulking that have more of an appetite, that want to eat more, and what would that do? They would put on too much excess fat. So, can you get progress without tracking? In my opinion, no. You need to know what's going in your body. You need to know if you're under eating, over eating, when to stop eating, no matter how you feel that day. Because some days you're hungrier, some days you have no appetite. Intuitively eating would mess your goals up like crazy. Until you've built a habit of tracking for a long time and you can kind of guess how much food you ate. But even then, I've been tracking for a year and a half. And to this day, I want to stop eating. And there are many times where I'm like, if I didn't track, I would have stopped eating because I, I just didn't feel like it. I felt full. Eat a thousand calories. Uh, I, I felt full, satisfied, no reason to eat. And I didn't even reach half my goal. So... Is there a better way? Not that I can think of. Is it really that difficult? No. Maybe you had a bad experience tracking macros. That is very possible because as I just said, there are people who are eating 1200 calories which come all from fat and protein and no carbs. I would hate macros too if that's how I was introduced to it. Um, so you could be doing it wrong. You could have the worst macro ratio possible given to you. And that's why you hate it. Because if you're doing it right, you will most likely like it and enjoy it. Most of my clients like it. Why? Because it's a reassurance that they can eat more. It's a way to know and, and be able to guarantee that they're not overeating or undereating. It's like saying if you follow this perfect guideline, you will get to your goals. Take away the guideline and you're lost, right? So why would you not want to do it? So I hope I shed some light on nutrition. Um, now we can go ahead and take it all out in my leg day workout. You haters of mine can go ahead and dislike the video and those of you who don't agree with my philosophy, it's actually not my philosophy, it is the truth. Um, but I know a lot of you won't like it so I will, I, it's okay if you dislike this video. Thanks for the view by the way, because that's really what matters. Um, anyways. Point out that it's messy, this, this. Oh, oh yeah, and while you're at it, you can point out how it's messy, how my daughter's hair is not perfect, anything else you want to point out that's totally cool with me. Um, the ignore the truth and just pay attention to that stuff. Anyways, let's go work out. It seriously takes us forever to get out of the house. Terrible. <laughs>
seems to be the max for today. Um, the previous leg workout was the first leg workout from the holidays. I just did high reps because I knew I would be uh, physically ready for it. Yet again, I didn't hit my 240. Maybe next leg day I'll be back to normal, hopefully. What do you mean the one before that? Yeah, but I thought I could definitely go up. That's no. <laughs> not You like... saw that I couldn't do it? I believed in myself. <laughs> You guys want to see where my cardio comes from? Just watch. comes in play this is why I don't do cardio because if you just lower the weights and do a shit ton of reps that is your cardio but at least it's building muscle instead of being on the treadmill where you're not building muscle and changing your body composition that's why I'm all for lifting weights She made that extremely challenging. Not only did I have to put my mind in the game, but put it on her and know where she is at all times. Oh, that was tough.
I finished my workout. Um, awesome workout. Very good, productive. My legs are killing right now. They're shaking. I didn't get to do as heavy as I would have liked for squats, but it's okay. I know it'll happen in time. Still recovering from the holidays. Um, now we're gonna go off and eat. I'm having that chicken, Greek chicken breast plate, so I'm looking forward to that. However, we're gonna end the vlog here because I have a feeling it's gonna be a long one and I don't wanna bore you with anything that may not be as important as today's vlog. Um, I'm sorry if it came out like as a vent or as like negative. It wasn't supposed to. I'm just so tired of people misleading others um, and complicating things. So that's all I was trying to send out. That's the only message. Um, so we're gonna end it here. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, comment below if you wish. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get notifications every time a vlog comes up. They come up daily at 5 or 6 in the afternoon. So watch out for those. Until next time, bye!